when factoring polynomials, you always try to factor out a greatest common factor first. There is no greatest common factor here, so I'm going to show you how to factor this two ways. The first is to use the Pullman squares. Draw four boxes like so. In the upper left-hand box goes the very first term, 4b squared. In the bottom right-hand box is the very last term, 25. The other two boxes will be filled in once you complete MAF. M you get by multiplying the first and the last coefficient, 4 times 25 is 100. The A is the middle coefficient, negative 20. The F stands for the two factors that multiply to 100 and add to negative 20. Those two factors are negative 10. Those are the two numbers that go into the other two boxes. Don't forget to give them the variable. It's the negative 10b plus the negative 10b that give you the negative 20b in the middle. Now, once you have all four boxes filled in, you will factor out the greatest common factor of each row and column. The greatest common factor of 4b squared and negative 10b is 2b. The greatest common factor of negative 10b and 25 is 5. The greatest common factor of 4b squared and negative 10b is again 2b and the greatest common factor of negative 10b and 25 is 5. Before you continue you have to know that when you multiply what's on the outside you should get what's on the inside and the problem arises because I have a 2b times a 5 and I have a negative 10b that it's supposed to become. The problem you can uh, you can deal with that problem by simply making those negative and now checking your work it is now correct. Correct factorization of 4b squared minus 20b plus 25 is 2b minus 5 times 2b minus 5. Since those two factors are equal, the best way to write it would be 2b minus 5 quantity squared. Now the shortcut can be used for factoring trinomials also. We're still going to use MAF, so I'm going to use my same MAF values here. The shortcut is you know that it's going to factor into two binomials. So you can use uh, the variable B here, B here, and it's always plus, and then the fraction, and the denominator of the fraction is the leading coefficient. Now, the two spaces that are the numerators of those fractions come from the F in MAF. So I have a negative 10 and a negative 10. Next, you always have to simplify your two fractions, which gives me B minus 5 over 2 and B minus 5 over 2 when those fractions are reduced. Last step, if there is still a denominator that is other than 1, it should be moved in front of the variable. I end up with 2b minus 5 times 2b minus 5, which since this is the same polynomial, I knew I would get that answer. And of course, the best way to write this, 2b minus 5 quantity squared.